Good evening. Three men are now charged with taking a 15-year-old girl and holding her against her will for 29 days. Today, the Douglas County attorney charged 32-year-old Thomas Barker, 31-year-old Joshua Holby, and 20-year-old Stephen Powers with kidnapping, sexual assault, and false imprisonment. Police say the three men tied up, abused, and tried to kill the teenager after taking her from her home in Alexandria last month. On Tuesday, 15-year-old Jasmine made a run for it. This evening, she and her mom are sharing their story of survival. Kate Raddick spoke to them in Alexandria this afternoon. Kate? Well, Frank, the three men that kidnapped 15-year-old Jasmine Block appeared inside a Douglas County courtroom earlier today. But meanwhile, I had the chance to sit down with Sarah Block and her daughter Jasmine at their church, where they shared with me the incredible fight that it took to get Jasmine home. For 29 days, Sarah Block prayed and searched, hoping her daughter would be found alive. It was the longest 29 days of my life. Her prayers were answered Tuesday. Jasmine's kidnappers had her at a foreclosed property on Thompson Lake in Grant County. She decided to make a run for it. Why did you think that was a good time to get away? Because they were gone. And they said that it would be about an hour until they get back. Jasmine got out and eventually swam across the lake to find help. Do you know how to swim? Mm, I'm not a good swimmer. But she did, leaving behind her shoes and some of her clothes weighing her down. She found a farmer who called 911. A detective right, came to I'm Sarah's house to tell her the news. And he goes, Sarah, we found Jasmine. And at that point, I pretty much tuned him out because I was like hysterically crying. I was waving my hand like, where is she? Where is she? But the joy of Jasmine being found alive is mixed with the pain of what she suffered. New charges reveal Thomas Barker, a family acquaintance, took Jasmine from her home. He, Stephen Powers, and Joshua Holby moved her to multiple locations. She was sexually assaulted multiple times and told police at one point the men tried to drown her in a bathtub in a duffel bag, but she kept her head above water. Never giving up. You must have been really scared. Yeah. Sarah says her daughter is getting the help she needs to begin to process what happened. She hopes parents will tell their children to fight and thanks the police who didn't give up on her family. They all came in to see Jasmine. They said this case is going to be their case of the lifetime. It certainly is, and uh, police have been calling Barker, as you heard there, a family acquaintance. I did ask Sarah about that. She said yes, that she had known him for many years. They were friends at one point, but she said she had distanced herself from him in recent uh, years because she was concerned about what type of uh, what behavior he may have been engaging in. Uh, Jasmine will now start high school next week. She told us she was looking forward to uh, going to pick out a therapy dog this afternoon that was paid for by someone who heard about her story. Well, we wish her well, for sure. All right, Kate, thank you.